Good morning. I want to talk about surrender. It's an interesting word, and I believe that what it means is that there is a way in which we, as human beings that have minds that can think and wills that can make things happen, that we have a a kind of ego that goes along with those two. And then what it is, it's about us being able to be in charge and take hold of what's going on around us and control it. Control. Now, nothing is more dangerous than that kind of control. Because it means that the mind is going to figure out an answer, and the answer is limited because it's a human mind. It has all kinds of pressures and history working against it or for it in terms of the truth. And you find yourself, you know, caught in something that is hopefully going to be successful, but you're not sure. And so there's a little bit of anxiety in that. But then there's this gift that God puts in our hearts. It's not in our mind, it's not in our ego, but it it has this capacity to let go of that need to be sure and certain and in charge. It's like, let go of it. But how do you let go of something that seems essential when it means, who's going to make the right decision about this? What do I do about this situation? How do I answer that need in my family, in myself, in the world? Well, all those questions are so important, but the answers have to be tested. And so the surrendering is a kind of letting go of the need for that decision that you made to be absolutely true and you'll hang on to it until you know 50 signs tell you it's not the right way but you don't want to surrender to the fact that you were wrong (laughs) or maybe even well that's that's probably the biggest problem with 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 a lack of being able to surrender it's it's giving in to something beyond ourselves that you can trust in and have hope in That's why this sense of God dwelling inside of you, if without that, without some kind of source that you can surrender to, surrendering is almost impossible. So think of it this way. You have a mind, you have a will, you have a way of solving your problems, and it's nothing wrong with pursuing the the plan that you have. But when you see it not working, don't be afraid to say, I think I was wrong. I think it's not real, the answer I had, or not true. And so you're willing to surrender to something beyond your ego and your will. That's not easy. (laughs) And I don't think you can do it without grace. What's grace? That beautiful indwelling presence of God who's right there to hold you, to support you, when you have to admit, I was wrong. Surrendering to truth, that's the goal.